Liverpool got off to a rocky start in their pre-season plans after falling to a 4 0 defeat at the hands of Manchester United. It wasn't all doom and gloom though, so here's five things noticed during the match. A lot of online chatter from Liverpool fans has revolved around their desire to see new faces in the Reds midfield. Well, today gave a possible glimpse of the future as Henderson started at the base of midfield with two younger players around him. Tyler Morton edged his way into Liverpool's first team last season as a defensive midfielder, but today we saw him as a number eight where he showed promise with his energy and positional awareness. Now Fabio Cavallo is a different kind of player and his inclusion was interesting as there's been a question mark over where Klopp will deploy him. Today he was on the left side of a midfield three, recycling possession and keeping things tidy but always aware of any offensive opportunities where he got forward at pace and looked dangerous on the ball. He could be Thiago's understudy this season but with the added drive of say an Oxford Chamberlain. Last season was a tough one for Harvey Elliott. He started off as being the first choice midfielder and one of the best performers in the first few games before he picked up a terrible injury. Today he played in most Salah's position and the lad looks he has the confidence, technique and ability to really push on for a first team place. At times he drifted inside and swapped positions with Roberto Firmino as he played as a false nine and he didn't look out of place. Now it's only pre-season and this was a glorified training session but Liverpool often look frail at the back with Manchester United, like a lot of clubs last season, targeting the space behind the Reds fullbacks. Well conceding goals in the first pre-season run out isn't really a concern and obviously it's unrealistic to expect a high press in a July friendly. Klopp and his team will want to make sure that this doesn't become the default tactic for opposition teams next season and we'll have to find a way to nullify this. Luis Diaz made a splash when he arrived at Anfield back in January and on today's showing he's not going to be a half season wonder. In his 30 minute cameo he was quite obviously head and shoulders above any other player on the pitch with his now trademark cut inside from the left. Just like in his dominating FA Cup final performance, he was unlucky not to score and if there is a criticism of the Colombian, it's that he needs to be a bit more clinical in these positions, which is surely something that will improve with coaching. As for new boy Darwin Nunes, he came on for the final 30 minutes and played through the middle. He led the press and looked every inch the centre forward, which could give Liverpool a different dimension playing against stubborn and well-organised teams this season. Trent Alexander-Arnold looked like he had a brand new toy to play with and his eyes lit up every time he found himself in the trend zone on the right. And this could be the new Anfield bromance to keep an eye on this coming season. Now, as disappointing as it is to lose against your biggest rivals, this result is essentially meaningless. Liverpool fielded three separate lineups, each getting 30 minutes each, with United taking a different approach to their substitutions. Liverpool looked sharp in short bursts, and Klopp will know that the most important thing is to get some minutes into his players' legs, build up fitness, and get his new arrivals accustomed to playing his system. There's plenty of pre-season games coming up, but the most important result will be the one against Fulham on the 6th of August. And if Liverpool are looking for revenge against United, there's an early season trip to Old Trafford on the 22nd of August.